After I showed the ticket stubs I had of the sporting events I attended and went to go put them back in nine pocket pages where they can be somewhat safe, I ran across some other ticket stubs. Let's take a break from the sports and rock and roll a little bit, show some concert tickets of shows I've attended, somewhat chronological order. The great David Bowie at Giant Stadium, played all his greatest hits. Unfortunately, we did not get a chance to see Joe Satriani, and I would have liked to have seen that, but this was a fantastic show. One of the first major shows I went to at the stadium. Across the highway, the Meadowlands Comp Complex. It wasn't Brendan Byrne, I think it was, was it Brendan Byrne back then? I can't read it. No, it's called the Meadowlands Arena. Okay, Heart, their big world tour, and Cheap Trick, who had a greatest hits album that had come out around that time. And Cheap Trick is great, I've seen them a bunch of times, and they were a great opening act. And Heart was great too. They didn't play Magic Man, I was upset at that. Sir, Paul McCartney, no opening act needed. Total buzz in the stadium to start the summer off. And Giant Stadium played all his solo hits from the 70s with Wings and lots of Beatles stuff. And even the new music was good. Enjoyed this one a lot. Going down to Allentown to see more, more cheap trick. They were the headliner in this one. Bad Company with the late great Brian Howe. He passed away this past May doing the lead singing for Bad Company. And Peter Wolf, former lead singer of Jake Isles Band. He opened up the show for the boys. This was fun to go to the fair and then hang out at night and see some, some good music. The old Felt Forum underneath Madison Square Garden in the late early 90s was known as the Paramount. I think it's the Wamu Theater still. But Robert Plant, he of Led Zeppelin fame, of course, doing a solo tour. Brother Kane, up and coming, somewhat hard rock band opening up. I think the same night at MSG was Neil Diamond. So I think we got the better of the two. If you like your rock, your heavier rock than the soft rock. Speaking of heavy rock, here's Aerosmith. This was the second time we saw them on the Get a Grip tour. We saw them at the Meadowlands with Four Non Blondes in mid-93 mid when the tour first started and the album first came out. This is in 94, summertime at Hershey Park. So we did the roller coasters in the day and then Jackal opened for them and they played a lot of stuff from Toys in the Attic and their more recent stuff from the newer album. Good stuff. Can't get enough Zeppelin. So we get the lead out, the unleaded tour at the Meadowlands. Sat right next to the soundboard on the floor. And so Jimmy and Robert do different variations of Zeppelin. Plant and even Coverdale Page songs. Great, great experience. Rusted Root was the opening act. Not memorable to me, but this was, and I'm glad I went. I loved going. Count Basie Theater in Red Bank. The site for the Ramones final tour. And you know, basically just a 45 minute non stop if you know how they play. They end a song, two, three, four, back into the next song. And same five chords, but totally rocking. They were great, appreciative, and adios. And thanks for the memories, right? This was at the University in Wayne, New Jersey, William Patterson, Foo Fighters' second album. Did not play any Nirvana, it's all stuff from the first two records, Dave and company just getting into their own, playing totally total original music. Soon to make the jump from the college scene to the big big stadiums. 
Good for them. I like their music. This was at PNC Bank Arts Center in Homedale. Motley Crue and Scorpions. Dual billing. Scorpions rock to kick the show off. And the return. The return of uh, Vince Neil. He had taken a break. They made an album without him. And this was a good show too. This is, you know, summertime, fun, right before the 4th of July. I have the pass for this show because I couldn't find the ticket stub. And speaking of Motley Crue, it was John Karabi who was the singer, and he went on to sing lead for Bruce Kulick's band, Bruce Kulick of Kiss fame. And this was in support of their second album, I believe, at the Blue Room. Something different. This isn't rock and roll, but it's definitely music you love. Tower of Power, the, the, the legendary horn section and ensemble. They have so many great blues and jazz songs. And this was at the bottom line in New York City, right across from NYU. And these guys put on quite a show. It was, it was just awesome. You know, you could just sit and have dinner and they just played. I mean, they were right in front, right there in front row, and the place was packed. And they played all the hits, and they sounded fantastic for a band that's been around for 40 or some years. Back to PNC. See Def Leppard at the Rat Fest, sponsored by a local Central Jersey uh, radio station, in support of their Euphoria album, playing most of the hits from the late 80s. The return of the great Canadian power trio Rush. They're taking a few years off, dealing with some personal issues. They returned, they did a lot of touring in about a decade. Put a lot of new material, a lot of DVDs, a lot of concerts to see on TV. They mix it up a lot. They're probably the best band I've seen live. They're so tight, they're so together. And they're so, they're just, they have the musicianship, is what it is. This is the first time we saw them on the Vapor Trails tour, beginning of the tour in July. We got tickets from a scalper who gave us the wrong tickets, so instead of sitting first row in the third section, we were first row in the first section. I don't know how we messed it up, but thank you very much. Sat right in front of Alice Lifeson for two hours, right there. And then this show we saw at the Meadowlands Continental Arena at the end of the tour where I want tickets on local northern Jersey radio station so they're comped as you can see on the top right pretty much the same show back to Giant Stadium for John Bon Jovi and his Bon Jovi crew they played two nights in August of 03 back to back the first night it rained Terribly, like a monsoon. We got the second night. Played a lot of stuff from their newest album at the time. Sounded really good. And of course, all the hits that you expect. It was fun just to go out and check that out. Van Halen. Van Hagar, really. 2004. This is really dirty ticket stuff. Got it smudged up. Uh, Silver Tide was the opening band. For this show and Sammy did a lot of David Lee stuff the legendary stone pony down Asbury Park down the shore as we like to call it here in Jersey to see collective soul after their latest album had come out and this is a pretty quaint uh, venue to go see you're tight you're packed got a couple of bars and uh, yeah, it's like a just down the shore kind of place to go and hang out. And that's what we did, and they sounded great. I liked playing some Who stuff too, some covers of the Who. I also went to go see Collective Soul at the Union County Music Festival in 2011. A weekend of music featuring Blondie and Paul Rogers of original Bad Company fame. But we just saw the boys from Georgia, did some more Who stuff, and did a lot of their own. 
an evening with Rush for the Snakes and Arrows tour back at PNC. The night of supposedly a big hurricane was going to come through and it didn't. It just rained a lot, but we survived and we're treated to a great show. And they play for hours, they can just go all night. The return of Iron Maiden at the East Rutherford Meadowlands. Somewhere Back in Time tour. They played two shows in the United States on the first leg. They played Staples Center in LA, which was documented on their movie. This was documented too, but they didn't show too much of it. I think they showed the opening when they played Aces High. Uh, Lauren Harris, the daughter of Steve Harris, was the opening act. He got her along and uh, got her to play some, some original music. Hard Rock and Chick, we like that. The Boys from Down Under, ACDC, the Black Ice Tour at Giant Stadium. Got to see them all there. Malcolm, who we miss, and Phil Rudd, Anvil, and a band called The Answer were the opening acts. I never heard of The Answer. I don't even know what they played. And Anvil is just as, you know, just as they come across on their documentary. And finally, back to PNC one more time. Back to Rush with the Time Machine Tour where they played their album in its entirety in the second half of the show. They played a lot of the older classic songs from the 70s in the first half. And it's going to be sad not to have new music or see the band again, but i got to see them a few times. I'm glad I did. Great to rock out to the classic, classic bands, classic memories. That's my rock and roll story, and I'm keeping them. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you later.